Welcome to the Jim Show with your host, Jim. So yesterday I had some epiphanies. I was thinking more about the self-worth conversation that we had the other day. Well, let's go back. You may remember my neighbor and the mowing incident. Well, yesterday I was mowing my lawn. It was about time. And I was thinking about my neighbor. I was thinking about the state of my yard. And I was thinking about the self-worth stuff that we talked about. This idea that the way we allow our... You know, we talked about the things in our lives and how that was important. How the jacket that Daryl and I had was crappy. And keeping that around was sending out a very clear message to the universe that crappy things, you know, was what we expected. And I was watching my neighbor and, and how he maintains his his yard and the area around his home and how he maintains his cars also. Because on the weekends he always brings his cars out and takes care of them. And I thought, what is what is he sending out to the universe? He's sending out this very clear message that my things are nice in my life. That I want orderly clean, well cared for things around me, my home, my, my vehicles, you know, I'm sure that inside his house is similar. And I thought, you know, maybe I've been looking at this wrong because I was looking at it from the perspective of this is an older gentleman that is, is stuck in society's, you know, ways. He should be growing food, not grass, right? <clears throat> He's got nothing else to care about but this grass. But I think I was the one that was looking at it entirely wrong. Because then I took a look at my environment and I realized that the message I'm putting out to the universe is that, you know, I can have a crappy, crappy place, right? Because here's the thing that I, that I also realized. And the, my master bathroom kind of plays into this. Because we had, we had, had ugly wallpaper in it and we had torn it down with the intent to repaint it. And we just never did. So now it's walls with like wallpaper gunk on it for forever. It's been that way for months and months, a year. I don't even know. A long time. Um, there is a cabinet door that fell off that I've not gotten around to fixing, right? And I thought, if I saw this situation somewhere else, would I think it was acceptable for me, right? And I would not. But in my own home, I've gotten so used to that state of disrepair that it has become fine. And that's the message I'm sending to the universe, that I am fine with, you know, a state of, of chaos, of disrepair, of broken things, of, of ugly things, that I, that's acceptable to me. And the same thing with the lawn, right? And kind of the, it's not just the lawn, but... Some of the trees and other things that are that are in disrepair. It's just like it's like just like a chipped glass that I'm allowing that I'm continuing to have in my environment. It's all the same. And so I was thinking about we know it's really important to to make your bed in the morning. We know that's like a really key habit that can change a lot of things. A simple act of part of your morning routine is making your bed, putting something in order, you know, making your environment crisp and nice and, and positive. That is a, a powerful act to do as part of your morning routine. And so if you're if you're not taking care of the rest of your home, if you're letting it degrade and fall into disrepair and and, and then you even get to the point where it's acceptable to you to live in that when you know that somewhere else you would notice it. If it was anywhere else you would say this is not acceptable for me to be in. Right. If that was, if the hotel bathroom looked like my bathroom, I would demand a new a new room or go to a new place. Right. It would not be acceptable. I wouldn't want to go into a home that had a lawn that looked like mine looked the other day. I would say, what are, what's with these people? They have no self respect for, for where they live. So it's great, and we make excuses. Right. I you know this is an area where I make a bunch of excuses about oh I'm doing all this other important stuff and this stuff really it doesn't matter. But it, it does matter. It's what I'm sending out to universe. It's the message that I'm putting out out there. It's the energy, it's the vibration, it's the frequency that I'm living in where I'm saying that this crappy existence is fine. 
for me. I accept it. I deserve it. You know, I, this is what I've created and I'm fine with it. Exactly right. It's, it's what I have created physically in my own home. So how do I expect better to occur if I can't even deal with that? And it's not, and the time thing is completely and utterly an excuse. It is just an excuse. The amount of time it takes to maintain these things, minimal, very minimal, right? I could take a little bit of time out of some, some relaxation or some extra learning or whatever to set my space in order. And it's just an excuse. It is laziness and nothing, nothing else. I just don't feel like doing it, right? That's why it hasn't happened. And the other piece of this is that we make excuses where we say that someone else should take care of this, right? And if you've read any of the Arbinger books like Leadership and Self-Deception, you realize that when you see something that needs to be done, the correct thing to do is just to do it yourself and not make excuses about anybody else. Because you're helping, right? You're helping other people by doing that. When you see something that needs to be done, you're helping out yourself, you're helping out other people by just doing it. Anything else is an excuse. Thinking that someone else should do it, thinking that you don't have time, whatever. It's just an excuse. And so what I realized, in conclusion, is that it's not just the things that you keep around. It's not just the crappy things, the crappy car, the crappy jacket, the crappy wallet. It is your living environment and space as well. And it matters just as much. It is the same concept, the same idea. The old guy who takes care of his, really nice care of his yard and his cars, he's got the right idea. You know, he may not be spending his other time well, but that time, it is being spent well. And it is important. Maybe not to the extent that he, maybe it's not as serious as he takes it, but it's still important. And, and I've been neglecting some part of this for a long time as well. So I'm going to work on it. Think about if you are doing this in your life too. If you're accepting lousy circumstances and making excuses to keep them the way they are, where, where you have the power to change them with just a little bit of effort, it'll make a big difference in your life. If you don't make your bed in the morning, start making it. <laughs> right? <laughs> Does it take a minute? And it, it changes the frequency of the room. It changes, you know, your expectations in life. So that's all I have for today. I'll see you tomorrow.